Welcome back to Positive Vibe Curators. Today, we're going to get a little braggadocious, not in the way you might think. But let's face it, we live in a society that encourages us all day to dwell on what's going wrong, where we fall short. It's hard out there to get sympathy or words of encouragement. But start talking about all you've accomplished and people are more than likely to label you as full of yourself, among other things. To some degree, being down and feeling bad is more acceptable than just admitting you're a badass. But let's be 100% honest. You are a badass. Don't pull back, don't resist, don't wave it off like we normally do with compliments where we make excuses for all the reasons why we aren't great. You are a badass. Without even trying, it took billions and billions of years of nature just to create you the way you are. You are the height of evolution. Really think about that for a second. Nature continues to try to get it right. It tweaks, it improves, and after billions of years, it's come up with you. And if you don't believe in evolution, if you believe in a creator, well, then the creator made you perfect. So whatever your personal belief is, know this, you were born a badass. Without even doing anything, you really are a badass. But it's hard to remember that. And we're definitely not encouraged to to think that way. No, dwelling on the negatives and things that aren't going right, where we've failed, where we need improvement, Those are the things that society seems to encourage us to do, and that only creates a negative thought pattern. Should we always be looking to improve ourselves? Can we always get better? Absolutely, of course. But we've already got those thought patterns mastered. That mission was accomplished long ago. Today, we're going to focus on mastering another positive thought process until that one is also just as automatic. No, we are not comparing ourselves to others. This is not about being better than someone else or one-upmanship. This is about celebrating the multitudes of things that we do right every day that never or barely even register on our positive meter. But for some reason, we can spend hours, if not days, ruminating on our failures or just negative things in general. But not today. Now, this is something you can do at any time while you're doing anything, brushing your teeth, combing your hair, whatever. During all those mind-wandering times of the day, this is a great exercise. But if you want to really set the thought pattern firmly in the deep recesses of your mind, it's also good to get someplace stationary and comfortable and just really focus on this exercise. And actually, writing this one out is even better. For the purposes of this video, we're going for the maximum effect, so we'll focus on the writing exercise, but do whatever works for you. And if you're going to do the writing exercise, just grab a notebook or a piece of paper real quick and something to write with, and then grab a seat. If not, just go ahead and do what you got to do while you think your way through this. Before we get started, I just want to share with you a personal antidote of something that I went through that will help you, I think, get in the right frame of mind. For me, it took years of trying to figure out why I never felt I was good enough for anything. I just felt like I was lacking or good enough for whatever. And it took me a long time to figure out that my father never told me he was proud of me. Now, I grew up in a a split home, so we didn't have a lot of contact, but the contact we did have There was distance, and he never said those words. I'm proud of you. One day, I was in the shower, and I looked inward, and I kind of just felt that place where, where your inner child is, and I said, I'm proud of you. And it was one of the most life-changing things that I ever discovered, and it's something I continually do. So take a quick second and do that for yourself. Just look inward. Just look inside, find that place where where your inner child sits, and just say, I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. You're doing awesome. And now I think we're in the right state of mind 
to really think about all the things we've accomplished. Are you ready? Before we start writing or thinking these things out, just take a quick second and hug the like button, squeeze that like button, and if you want, you could even include the subscription button. Okay, now for the next three minutes, we're going to write down all the things you can think of that you've accomplished. You can focus on just today or go back as far as you'd like. Maybe today you're tired, but you managed to get up and get to work with matching shoes on. Or maybe you're feeling pretty good today and you had a great morning at work getting a lot done. Maybe the breakfast you made this morning was outstanding, or maybe you just made a really good cup of coffee. Go ahead and start writing these things down. I'm going to be quiet for a little bit, and don't hold back. Just write or think. Okay, now what about yesterday? What things did you accomplish yesterday? And remember, don't ignore the little things. Be gracious to yourself. How far back can you go? If you're having trouble thinking of things from the past few days or week, what about weeks ago or months or even years ago? If you're on a roll, by all means, continue this exercise for as long as you like. If you're struggling, that's okay too. Take your time and continue thinking, or come back to it later after you've had time to think about it. Sometimes, because of these negative thought patterns that we've mastered, it's hard to switch gears on short notice. That's one of the reasons we recommend writing this out. You can return to it over and over again just to remind yourself of how awesome you really are. And remember, just be gracious to yourself. Be the parent to your inner child that you deserve. And never forget that you are 
a badass. When you're done, take a deep breath in, release, and smile. Add this to your list of achievements as well. And thank you again for joining us. If you got anything from today, then I hope you hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even share us with a friend. Now go have an awesome day. You deserve it.